Welcome to our Tuesday morning routine. We are at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Good morning and thank you for choosing Chick-fil-A. It's Jonathan, how may I serve you? Hi, can I get four chicken biscuits and an orange juice? Yes, ma'am, and how many persons are in the car? There's four of us. Anything else for you today? That's it. So we'll today we come to 228. We'll be happy to serve you at the window. Thank you. That was my pleasure. We like Tuesday mornings at Chick-fil-A. Hey, are we being fussy? Okay, whoever's happy gets a chicken biscuit. Chicken biscuit! <laughs> a biscuit. With a little bit of chicken on there. <laughs> She's gonna be covered with biscuits by the time we get to the Bible study. If any of you have a recommended cordless vacuum that we could easily use for cleaning out the van, let me know what your suggestions are because I want to look into one because I don't think I can get haul our big huge like floor vacuum into here to clean out. I could easily do it in Tim's car and our old car, um, but we didn't have three rows of seats in there. How's your sandwich? Yeah. How's yeah. my biscuit? Mmm. Mm. Did you eat all your biscuit already? Now you just have your chicken? I didn't eat all mine. Yeah, you're still eating your biscuit? We're gonna sit in the car for a little bit and finish our breakfast before going in. We'll be a little bit late, but at least our tummies will be full and we'll be in better moods. <laughs> They're up really high. Isn't that cool? Daddy said he already left. Yeah, he's on his way. Tim's a little bit late coming to his study. Mackenzie and I got out early, so we're waiting around because they love to see their daddy. What is that? A pretend piggy baby. A pretend yeah, piggy baby? I choose pink, Callie chooses the, uh, green. And yeah. I choose a blue. Nice. I choose pink. Those are fun. Pigs are, pigs are supposed to be pink, so that's why I choose pink. Is that why you chose pink, or did you choose pink because you like pink? I got Mr. Wobbly. <laughs> Allie's gonna leave without us. We decided to go ahead and get back in the car and wait for Tim because he's late, but he could come and like pop in and say, hi kids. So hopefully we'll see daddy. I just totally got hit by another car and they kept going. Ugh. There's another accident. I don't know if you guys can see it right back over here. That car is flipped over that truck. Uh, I can't point to it, but like right there. So I was like right behind that accident and I uh, was slowing down just like I was in this like little lane right here just minding my own business and then all of a sudden out of nowhere this blue car comes from this side and just like rams into me takes off my side mirror this whole side of my car now is dented uh, well it's not dented that bad but uh, I'll show you like when, when I get to a better safer place what it looks like but uh, I just talked to a police officer, they came over and they helped me out, they kind of looked it over, wrote up a report about us and I have a case number so I can call my insurance and get that all figured out. Uh, but it's just kind of like, I thought the guy would like pull over, right? He started pulling over, I'm just driving and I feel like I, like I heard something dragging under the car and people started honking. So I'm like, okay, so I just moved over, got on the side lane and then the other guy, just like, he hit me and they just kept freaking going so other people are like following me like real close like honk at him like dude pull over and he just kept or she i don't know but just kept going and no one called it in uh the police officer just checked and he said no one's called in the car yet or reported it uh so i have no information on the car or the license plate or anything but like that's just really like not just inconsiderate that's just like like if you make an accident you should totally pull over and own up to it even if it's just like a little dent right um, but at least I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I didn't end up like that guy over there whose uh, car is totally flipped over and uh, we were like, like, it happened like a little bit right in front. I didn't see it happen, but um, I was like right behind it and that guy looks super shaken up, uh, which I would be too if my, my car flipped over like that. So anyway. <sighs> my heart started sinking when we were waiting for Tim. I heard a siren and saw a a fire truck go by and I was like Tim is really late like he's later than he should have been and um, and, and then I saw I had a missed call from him and I was like okay what's going on at least he called me so I called him back um, he got in an accident well there was an accident on the highway and he was right behind it so he slowed down but then somebody sideswiped him and kept on going um, and he didn't get the license plate he doesn't know even what kind of car it is but it's a blue car um, he's okay so I'm like, 
worked up because I'm very thankful that he's okay. Um, Cause that would have been really bad. It could have been really bad. Um, but I'm gonna drive around our little shopping area over here as to where that blue car may be. B, and I'm gonna be searching for all the blue cars and see who has red paint on the front of their car. If you look out your window, Hannah, you can see another car with the front all squished up. That's not what daddy was in, but that's a car wreck. It looks like everybody's okay in that wreck too. It's just, it's, I don't know, it just shakes you up when somebody that you love has been in a wreck. My parents have been in a very serious wreck before um, and came out okay but it was they they were very sore for a really long time they had a pretty long recovery from it but <sighs> i'm probably not going to find this blue car i'm just very thankful that tim is okay and i don't know if we're going to be able to see him off the side he says he thinks his car is drivable um but we'll see what happens now my car feels a little wobbly and there's air rushing in right there where i got hit on the outside of the car uh like it's if it was sealed or something before i don't know but it's certainly not now there's just like tons of air like it almost feels like it sounds like my window's open it's but obviously it's not open it's just <sighs> thankful this is a cheap car <laughs> and i'm very also very thankful that it wasn't worse than it is all right now i'm in a safer place maybe i can show you guys it's not too bad going along the side of the car but my side mirror is all gone no side mirror and this dent right here, like that's where it looks like it got the, the brunt of the, the impact. And I th and that's where it sounded like all the air was rushing into the car. It doesn't look bad, fortunately it's just kind of like a cheap older car, but still man, like you take off someone's side mirror and you run into the side, you scrape up the whole side of the car, you dent them like that, like you should stop and you should own up to that. <laughs> okay. So I talked with our car insurance people on the phone about the accident and got the, the and verdict. And made some new sass and new cheese. Yeah, yummy spaghetti, I huh? I didn't this. Yeah, you, just, you didn't want the sauce, but I got the sauce. It's like a cheese sauce or something. What is it? Yeah, it's some recipe. I wanted to use cream cheese, and so I looked up a recipe oh. made us cream cheese. How to use up the cream cheese? Yeah and made a special sauce. It's good. I, I like it. Since we don't have collision on our car and because I couldn't get the person's license plate number or any information from the other person. It is what it is. It is. It's, it's yep. Like any repairs we want to do, just come out of our own pocket. So if I had gotten the other person's info and they hadn't driven off, um, and it, or if someone else had called it in, you know, and saw it happening, one of the people maybe behind the car saw it happen would have called it in to the police, then we would have had their info, then we could have, you know, then their their insurance would have then paid for it uh, and taken care of it, assuming they had insurance, of course. The choice we have to make so is what to do with it. If we're just gonna, like, I don't, I don't know if it's legal or not to drive without a side, that side mirror. mirror. I think it is legal. It is legal, that's what I thought too. Because I thought, if you have the side mirror on the driver's side and a rear view mirror, mm -hmm. then you don't have to oh have that one. That's what I thought, like I thought you only needed it on the driver's Mommy, side. Um, and, you know, not, and not on the passenger's side. So we might get away with just and, leaving it. What? And, and, uh, and the car ripped off daddy's mirror. Yeah, so we might have to get the mirror replaced, but there's still that dent in the side of the car. Um, I don't care about the scratches so much, more about functionality than how pretty it looks. Did I you mean, see if the door opens or not? I didn't. I didn't even see if the door or the window unwinds, like rolls down or not. Maybe I can just cover up the spot where like, when I drive the air rushes in, you know, you can feel it like it feels, <laughs> yeah, like the window's down on that side. So maybe I can just cover that part up or something. The thing is like, I got that car when I was in, uh, in 2002, I bought it. It's a 98, so it's pretty old. I bought it in 2002. Uh, I've, where are we in now? 2014. So I've had that car for 12 years. Uh, I got it at 36,000 miles. It now has like 186,000 miles on it. I haven't had issues with it. It's been a really good, reliable, um, very economical car. Uh, and uh, a lot of memories in that car from when we were dating and, and driving places, road trips together and stuff. So. We, yeah. we took our honeymoon in that car. We did. Um, we almost ran out of gas on that trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to put the money into fixing it though, because it's like Kelly Blue Book value. Before the accident, it was only like seven hundred dollars. 
So I don't know how much it's gonna cost me to get it fixed, but even if it's a couple hundred dollars, yeah, here's your drink. There you go, baby. Even if it's just a couple hundred dollars, like I still don't wanna put that into it, you know? So I guess we I just- I don't think it's worth it. No. <laughs> so I guess we just drive it the way it is. It's just really, really not cool. It's not cool. that bad. No, but it's just not cool that someone like hits me right, right on the interstate, takes off my side mirror, and I'm like driving thinking I'm dragging something underneath and people are honking, so I'm like trying to pull over, get out of the way, get the debris off the road, and the other person just pew. That is so, so not cool. What are honeymoons? What are honeymoons? <laughs> oh, you heard me talking about that because mommy and daddy did went on our honeymoon in that car. Is that what you hear that? Honeymoons is something that when people get married, uh, sometimes they'll go on a trip or a vacation together for like a week, just the two of them, to spend some special alone time together and go do something fun. So what mommy and daddy did for our honeymoon, we went to a cabin out in the woods and it was up in the trees. It was like a big tree house, like an actual house up in the trees and mommy and daddy stayed there for what, a week, right? Mm -hmm. And we went hiking, we went canoeing, we went... We took train rides. It was um, in we Arkansas. Did a wave runner. Yeah, a wave runner. So each day, Dan and I did went on like a little, um, like a little family adventure day, just me and Dan. Because you weren't born yet. You weren't even around yet. A whole week of different adventures every day. Yeah. That's what my mom and dad I was in your tummy when you did that. No, nope, you were not. <laughs> not yet. You didn't come till a couple years later. And now we're so happy we have you and Zeekers and Hallie. Wow, you look like you're enjoying and, your spaghetti. And then, and then Hallie and then the new baby. And then a new baby's coming. Yay. One thing the car accident did like remind me of that I need to do though is uh, get on top of life guys, insurance me, and disability guys. insurance. Guys, what's me? What's you? Ooh, good job. Right. <laughs> We've uh, I've Allie's gotten well, quotes before, well. and I've got them sitting in my inbox, and just haven't followed through. We've right. even had it in the budget for the past couple months to actually go ahead and get life insurance. Get the because board. something happens to me, Dana has four board. kids to take care of, right? So that, and then disability yeah. insurance, because like, what if you get in the car wreck and you don't mm -hmm. die, but you end up as a vegetable? Like, that's just as bad and even more expensive for the family if I just died, you know? So. I think we're gonna have to I got to get on that get that done. I am back at cooking. I'm so excited I am making some homemade french fries that I just eh, I probably need to season a little bit more Put a little more kosher salt on there a tiny bit more pepper and Texture mix these around and then I'm gonna make some homemade chicken nuggets that I have the chicken thawing right now and then I just have to, I don't know, get them made. 